Gumby. The blockheads are after me again. Hurry, Gumby. They're right behind us. Don't worry, Pokey. They can't catch us on that broken down motorcycle. I hope so. I'm tired of running. So that's it. They've been after me for years, Professor. They just won't let me alone. Uh, Pokey, uh, this, these blockheads have been chasing you long enough. It's time we taught them a lesson. What are you going to do, Professor? Uh, this is a part of my new glue. It's one of the stickiest glues in the world. Prickle, get a hammer and nails and some wood. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Gumby, you get some paint that's just the same color as Pokey. Right, Professor. I don't know what your scheme is, Professor, but I sure hope it works. Let's go to work, Pokey. Pokey, that wooden horse looks just like you. Uh, yeah, as soon as I paint the rest of it with this glue and paint mixture, they'll never know the difference. It's scary. Well, now let me get this straight. I get the blockheads to chase me to this spot, then hide in the bushes over there. That's right, my friend. What if they catch me before I get here? Then we will have wasted a lot of glue and paint, Pokey. Well, I wouldn't want that. Stand by. Here I go. Hey, blockheads! Were you looking for me? work or I'm a pooped pony. Ready or not, horse, it's up to you now. Look, here they come. You did it, Professor. They're stuck tighter than a drum head. A narrow escape from a sticky situation, Pokey. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the first time in history that a horse was grateful to a glue pot. <laughs> <laughs>